I have made some bad mistakes in my time, but that breaks, and I bet I've had way more fun than you. Well, hello there, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Bisoft Plays Minecraft. I am Bisoft, and this is me as I play Minecraft on single player worlds, the Minecat server, and the private realm, Westside Punks. I will also be streaming on Twitch Monday through Friday, sometime around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. Search for Bisoft Plays or click that link in the description below this video. If you have a moment, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and if you're up to it, give a like or dislike on this video. If you're feeling really adventurous, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And if you've gotten any early Christmas money and you're thinking, what should they do with that? You can always go to Patreon and give your old buddy Biss off. He likes to eat once in a while. Yum, yum. Okay, so here we go. We have a few things we need to do. We, or I, offline, managed to smelt up all this gold that we got out of those uh, Mesa caverns. We got five stacks of gold and got a couple of extra stacks of iron ingots that I smelted up that we had saved in this chest here. Took them over to the village and smelted them all up. Been doing some uh, grinding down at the spider spawner and getting it ready. Getting books made and running out of books, of course. We're going to have to start feeding them cows more and getting more stoof and I went down into the mine to get some redstone and realized I only took my mine down to level 26 for some stupid reason so I ended up extending it down to level 12 and within a few blocks I found enough redstone to help us make our redstone uh, thingies here we have to make some activator rails and we need one stick stack of regular rails so let's see let's get some sticks we got redstone we got all the stuff so let's start out with a stack one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four learn how to count one of these days so that would be a stack that goes out of there. Okay, now we need. I think I counted 25, 30, 30, 30, 30 about 38 activator rails. So we're gonna go over 36. So that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Something like that many. Hmm, I'm gonna get a hurt to have a few extra. Okay, let's go ahead and put that gold away. We do no longer need. That was gonna take a lot more gold than that. Here I, <laughs> I mined up all that gold and we needed a stack. Yeah, that was a waste of time, but we got it at least. Let's grab some more of those. We need about Eh, let's say that many uh, redstone torches to get our rails activated. Oh, we need a button, don't we? We need a button. We'll make one single button. And now we'll go down into the tunnel and find out where we left off. Ooh, let's grab a rail cart too, why not? That way we can ride back rather than <clears throat> walk the entire distance back. Where's the rail cart? Right in there. We'll grab one of you buddies. There we go. Okay, through here. Down. Down. Ooh, we need two buttons, don't we? Because we didn't have a button there. Sometimes I wonder if my brain is on sideways. So there's a couple buttons. So we only need one there right at the moment. Oops. There we go. Put that button right there. We'll just put this rail cart on the rail and let's hop in there and take a ride. Until it ends. Yeah, I think we 
one more uh, power and rail would help back there close to the going started faster. And we run out of rail. That's okay. Ooh, how'd it go? jump somehow? There we go. So let's pick that up. Did we pick it up? Yes. So now what we need to do is go along. Pretty simple. Thought it'd be pretty simple. Did not work out very simple. And put a block there and our activator rail on top. And we've got it. So let's do the rest of them. Okay, so now we're at the end of our line where we put the regular rail. So let's count them out and start getting those placed. I had to replace a section of track that had a creeper blow up a little bit ago. I had to block off that tunnel. So now we can ready to go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And continue. Okay, so there we go. So now we'll just put in. Oh, villagers. Oh, villager got downstairs. Damn it. That's okay. So, and we'll put that button on the wall there just for the heck of it. Now we'll go back and do the last few of these. Seems like it's worked out pretty well. I don't think I'm gonna have any less. Plus I want to have one or two extra. The area where we've got the little tunnel for our uh, experience farm, I'd like to make a junction there so that I can ride the rail down there to do the, ex the experience farm. Ooh, that worked out just great. I didn't have to put one in the center here. But I'll put a little junction in that. So that if I'm coming from the house, I'll go to the mining area. Or the, if I'm coming from the house, I'll go to the experience area. And if I want to come down here, I'll just have to take that off the track and put it back on the track again. But if I'm coming from here, I'll go straight home. Here we go. There we go. And what we'll do is... We'll put this sucker like this. Nope. From that direction. Nope. We'll just remove that, I guess. <gasps> oh, I remember. We cannot have it come whoops, out of that one part. Yeah, that's it. It can't turn coming out of there so we'll put an extra piece here oh guess it will it did eh. stupid me it did work and we'll put our power on rail there and put another button there and as we're coming back this direction it will hop excuse me it'll hop that junction we'll show you that now you can grab this rail cart well let's don't grab the rail cart let's put the rail cart back on the thing that's not a rail cart. Okay, so the rail cart going this direction towards the experience farm. We'll just go like that. And then we'll have to... You know, let's just dig this out. I'm getting tired of taking damage every time. And then we'll just have to put it back on this rail and start going again that direction, which I think I'll put another powered rail right there. That will help us in our thing down the line. There we go. Whoops, you don't go there. You will go there. Okay. And then as we're coming this other direction, all we'll simply have to do is normally go along and boom. Okay, so we've got everything put away from our inventory except for these stupid blocks here. We'll put them anywhere. And it must be raining somewhere because it sure is a dark sky. 
all we really need now is to ooh, we need to repair this armor it's in sad shape but we got plenty of iron ingots so we should be fine with that uh, it's actually I think I'll just make new armor it might be better just to make all new armor rather than to try to repair that waste all of our experience repairing that plus we need to go down and use up the experience we have because I'm heading for the nether we did pretty good finding the diamonds we needed right away but we need more diamonds I still need to make a full set of armor so I'm going to want to run back to the nether and see if we can find more diamonds there won't quite be enough time left in this episode to do all that so we'll have to do that in a later episode So let's head down to our experience farm and get rid of all this extra experience. And then next time we'll head to the nether. Well that's it for this episode. I'll be doing my best to get the video out every day at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. Once again, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you feel good, give a like or dislike on this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And as always, later Minecraft Freaks.